Pakatan Harapan's victory in GE14 saw Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad rose as the Prime Minister of Malaysia for the second time. Subsequently, he formed his seventh cabinet with a total of 28 ministers. Out of the 28 ministers, three of them were ministers in the Prime Minister's department. They are Datuk Sri Dr. Mujahid Yusuf Rawa as Religious Affairs Minister, Datuk Liu Bui Kiong as Legal Affairs Minister, and Weita Murti as National Unity and Social Wellbeing Minister. According to Media Intelligence, Mujahid Yusuf Rawa has the highest media exposure in the beginning of the year. He peaked in March with more than 750 news before slowing down in April. Weita Murti, on the other hand, has the least presence. He had a slight peak in June, but the number of articles on him still did not pass the 250 mark. As a comparison, Liu Vui Kiong moves without any apparent spike or decline. It is also noticeable that since April, the gap between Mujahid and Vui Kiong had narrowed. Looking at Mujahid's top issues, in March, he had met Zakir Nae. After the meeting, the Minister of Religious Affairs took it to his Facebook page to praise the controversial Indian preacher, saying his efforts to preach Islam as an inspiration. Mujahid also came under media attention for condemning certain quarters who were alleged to use the Women's March to promote the LGBT community, calling the act as an abuse to democracy. Apart from that, Mujahid also addressed on Hajj subsidies and the Christchurch mosque shootings in March. As for Vui Kiong, the graph shows a fluctuation in the number of news written on the Legal Affairs Minister in 2019. He recorded the highest number of news in January with a total of almost 400 news, while August records the lowest, barely hitting the 100 mark. In January, the Legal Affairs Minister made headlines after a video featuring him with Attorney General Tommy Thomas and Chief Justice Tan Sri Richard Malanjum dancing to the tune of a formal ceremony went viral on social media. However, apart from the controversial dance, Vui Kiong also touched on the national matters such as the abolition of death penalty and the Sedition Act. Next, although Wei Tamurti has the least exposure in the media, it is noticeable that he experienced an unexpected spike in June. This was the time when the National Unity and Social Wellbeing Minister visited the indigenous people in Kelantan. It was reported that he had spent two weeks at the Orang Asi settlement in the state following an outbreak of disease which claimed the lives of 15 villagers as of June 19. Overall, Mujahid Rawa remained the most popular minister in the Prime Minister's department to be quoted by the local mainstream media. In the past seven days, Mujahid controlled 76.15% of the share of voice, while Liu and Waiter only took 14.62% and 9.23% respectively. Having said so, whether his high exposure translates to a positive standing in the media or otherwise, is a different matter altogether.